Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Jason Howell will kick things off with a look at the new Nexus player. This is Whoa. Google's this return is, to this space. It's like a platter, a platter of Nexus stuff It's right all here. Nexus. Yeah. Uh, this is the Q, which came out two years ago, was kind of like this, right? Well, you know, the Q was a sphere with a rotating top. That was like the beginning of this world. Right. And, and uh, Google's tried Google TV. I had Logitech's Google TV yeah. box. At Google I.O., we had the uh, ADT1, which is the developer kind of edition of what ended up being the Nexus Player. But this is now for sale and available. This is for sale through the Play Store. It's the Nexus Player, $99. All of these are $99. Well, this, yes, so th Everything. this is just $99 the flat. Yep. Uh, you can get the optional gamepad that I have here for $39.99. It connects okay. via Bluetooth to the Nexus Player. And you, pr I, I mean, I, I think that gaming is a big reason why you would want the Nexus Player, so I would. I would definitely, you know, encourage people to consider that. It's not a horrible price, and it's a pretty great uh, quality controller. But so yeah, so you see the Nexus player right here. It's a low-profile kind of hockey puck design here. You, you know it's on because of that tiny little dot up there. Um, HDMI cable that plugs in the back of your TV. HDMI. You've got micro uh, USB for developer interests. That doesn't basically. do anything. It doesn't really do okay. anything for most people. And power. So there no is no Ethernet. Ethernet. It's Wi-Fi only. No okay. Ethernet. And that's definitely a big downside to this as far as I'm concerned. It's a 1.8 gigahertz quad-core Intel Atom processor. One gig of RAM. Uh, 8 gigs of storage. And there's no SD card slot. So right off the top. No Ethernet. No SD card slot and 8 gigs of storage for an, a living room device that also plays games. Uh, so incredibly underserved, I think, for this kind of device. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, 8 gigs of storage where the system is eating up 2, 3, 3.5 three gigs, somewhere around there, yeah. right off the top, leaves you with 5 gigs to play around with. And if you're installing games, if you're using this as a game device, it's not very much. Uh, particularly because a lot of these games are being retooled for the living room and they end up being a little bit larger. I'm, I'm kind of surprised to hear you say that, uh, to focus on the games in this. This is, of course, plays Netflix. It does all the it things does. that are standard. Yeah, we'll get, yes, we'll definitely get but there. But you think the games are what makes it different? I th well, I mean, it's certainly a differentiator from, uh, from something like the Roku or... Right. You know, which also, plays games, but not well. Okay. Or the Ouya, which was really a game, Android-based game thing that just never took off. Right. Amazon Partially has because games it was kind of like a third-party approach to gaming yeah. on Android. Yeah. This is Google's official kind of console, right. more or less, right. if you want to think of it that way. Yeah, that, well, that, that's a different way to think of it. It's not just yeah. a TV thing. It's a, it's a, it's a gaming device. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the HDMI out, it's 1080p, 60 frames per second, of course, 802.11ac, Bluetooth 4.1. And actually, if you buy this before December 31st, you get a $20 Google Play credit. So well, that's pretty um, good. You know, so yeah. 100 bucks for this and then uh, $20 now, of credit. It you can buy the controller extra for 40 bucks, right. but it does come with the remote control. It comes with this remote control. So we can do the, the remote here. It's a small, you know, more or less functional remote. And I don't know if we have the, uh, the interface to where I can kind of... Yeah, we're not able to watch television on this or, or the Fire TV later in the game because uh, these guys uh, have copy HDCP on them, so they won't let us. Yeah, so I, I mean, I don't know if it's going to let me pass pass through any video. In fact, look, I look. There's Leo Laporte on this week in Google. Yeah. I, I love that show. It's a. Are you okay, Leo? So you can Are get you, <laughs> you can get uh, podcasts on this too. Yeah, so I mean, right right out of uh, out of the package, you know, it's linked up to obviously all of Google's things. So that's yeah. why you see a lot of Play movies um, suggestions happening here. and you YouTube see YouTube suggestions. Uh, you also see Haystack. I installed Haystack, which is a third-party app that's more news-based, and thankfully that seems to be tied into here. One thing you don't really see up here is Netflix. Oh, hey, My Little Pony. Thank you, uh, Lucy. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, one thing you don't see up here is Netflix, and you also don't see that at this point, which is, you know, probably the service I use the most, uh, in the integrated search, which the search is definitely one of the powerful things. Does it not have? Oh, there's Netflix at the bottom. Yeah, so you have so it Netflix has Netflix, app, but you can't search And came pre-installed. And there's the pre no and the suggestions inside of it. Got it. And the suggestions inside of it. So let's see. I'll do a search for. I wonder like, if that's uh, Netflix has an API, I, doesn't I, it? Well, I think it's. I think it's. It's a Google API that Netflix hasn't worked into Got their it. app yet. Okay. But I, I don't know. I thought it was weird that they're a launch partner and they didn't have it kind yeah. of baked in. But yeah. I guess I suppose you can hold that against Netflix. So let's see here. So, do a search. Let's see if this works. Science fiction movies from the '60s. Oh, you can talk to it. 
Okay, so that just picked up uh, the Yeah, the that's probably our fault. In part, apologize about that. Movies with monkeys. For 300, Alex. Okay. Come on, are you going to do it? Hey, hey, there we go. Well, now monkeys, that's impressive. Funky monkey. Now, monkey has to George. be in the title, I guess. Yeah, um, and then let's see here. Wow. Walking Dead. I'm sorry, got my wow in there. That's, that's okay. all right. It's still, it's still, it's still, still got it. Um, so it's able to do a lot of this kind of searching. Um, right now, it seems to kind of search into the Play Movies database. Actually, if I do this again, Walking Dead should give me a card. Yeah, there we go. And it'll give you the option to, you know, hey, this is on Google Play Movies. Do you want to just go right to it? And you can. You Does know, it click push you remote. to the paid version even if there's a free version? That's that's the thing. That's that's why you know other services really need to tap into the search functionality. And so I, I suppose you can kind of hold them accountable. But once they do, like I know Walking Dead is for free on Netflix. I expect that when I use this search. And yeah. if I don't get that, it kind of feels a little bit like, yeah. you know, hey, we've got this paid version. Why don't you just get it? from us instead and you know you could probably blame Netflix that was for that. that was one of the complaints about the Amazon Fire TV too okay is it pushed you towards Amazon content yeah but, which you know, I mean I suppose is part of their reason for having right. you know their own ecosystem in this regard now I notice you have your Nexus 6 out can you control it with an Android phone as I well I can so there is an Android TV remote app it's not the be the most beautiful app in the world and I honestly uh, this this was available when they did the developer preview during the summer I, so I truly thought it. they were going to revamp this yeah. before the official public release of the Nexus player but you know you can hard do to, you can hard to pair it or is it just see it on the Wi-Fi network and say uh, I see you have and, a and it pairs with a four four uh, digit kind of code. So is it Bluetooth or is it? Uh, it pa pairs via Bluetooth. Oh, well, it is Bluetooth? Yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, you know, that's a really good question. I know that it has to see it on the Wi-Fi network, mm. but then you're presented on the screen and on your device with a four digit pin. Hmm. And um, so that's done manually. I'm not sure if that pairing is done via Bluetooth or not. Right. Um, and then of course the controller can be paired as well. Uh, let's see here. So. You, what have I, the, oh, and by the way, this remote, I don't know how it comes across on video. It's super hollow, kind of <laughs> kind of plastic and, and cheap and you know, whatever. It's not that but, much you know, different than the Roku remote or the I mean, it Fire does the TV trick. remote. Yeah. It, it does the trick. It's None not, of them are super yeah. sophisticated. So let's, so let's get to kind of the things that you this expect. This is what out. I'm curious about is the gaming. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so let's cut back to uh, the video feed here. This can is we the, play games or, game this, or are those also copy -protected? Absolutely. So okay. I can go home here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. And what, oh, Goat Simulator. What games are available? Is it everything on the Play Store? No. Or? So that's, and that's one, one big downside right now is that compatibility has to be built into the apps. And right. so early on, we're seeing a small amount of apps that are actually compatible. Oh, this is my uh, favorite game, though. Oh, have you played this before? I just got I this last night. I just started game. it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Played it on the Xbox all the way through with my son. There we are. Um, yeah, this is... So, uh, you know, I actually really... Uh, did I just, just turn on Dutch? Deutsch. I'm sorry. I, I did not. Do the do the oh oh uh, well. This is good. It's in many languages. <laughs> Apparently, it is. Uh, English being the last of which. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, How is performance on it? Now, this game was a big hit on the Xbox, the original Xbox. I think performance is fine. You know, with gaming. You can play it on an iPad now. With gaming, I find the. Um, God, I don't find this menu system to be very intuitive. Um, with gaming, I find the performance to be pretty smooth, pretty fluid. Yeah. Uh, a little, you know, a few slowdowns here and there, but. And, oh, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm horrible. You know what? I'm going to go like buy this, this just to play Stranger's Wrath from Odd World. I love this game. Yeah, you know, so. Um, Looks good, too. This, this is the kind of stuff that excites me because long ago I stopped buying consoles for my living room. So it's kind of nice to have something that's, you know, $100 right. that has the potential uh, expansion of, of library as I think Android, is, you know, will be capable of. So you want to get that chipmunk right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, fire. Uh, which, yeah, uh, there yeah, we go. Okay. Was that it? Now watch, the bad guy comes out and the chipmunk, oh, blew up the... Doc, there you go. Okay, all right, yeah. cool. So there you go. I mean, I'm not going to play through this game because that's not what this but is I, all But I'm about. actually interested but to see the quality is good. Yeah, the quality is pretty good. Um, and I got to say, smooth. you know, but you run into a limit with uh, with storage. So the more games that you install, obviously you're running up to that. You that only have eight gigs. Limit. And uh, so here's the Play Store, so you can kind of get a sense. Entertainment apps. There's some. There's not a whole lot. Some of the big. I mean, a lot of the biggies are in there. But is there anything obvious missing? 
That's a really like, good. It looks like it's all there. I mean, you've got you've got your main. Your you main have staples. Sony's Crackle. Yes. You have Crackle. You have yes. Pez. Do you have Crunchyroll? Yes. Uh, Crunchyroll, I don't believe is in here. Oh. Uh, Haystack, Hulu, but Netflix. Seems like there's some games for, uh, and content for kids, like Madeline was in there. And, uh, that's good. Yeah, the yeah. game selection is pretty low, and you know, Save I know that the there's puppies. a lot of games in the Play Store that are gamepad compatible, but they're not necessarily cleared for Android TV yet. Uh -huh. So I'm hoping that. You know that happens soon because I, I really, with this, just want to play games with it for some right. reason. Uh, it just feels like the obvious thing to do, especially when you have a gamepad. But I would say, um, you know, the thing that you expect it to do, a uh, living room device, is play video pretty fluidly and and all that. And more often than not, I would run into issues with video playback. I'm not sure entirely exactly why. It's probably this not going to do it right now because I'm showing it. Coming to, you. to us from YouTube, right? Yeah, so this okay. is YouTube, for example. It's probably not going to do it right now because, you know, it's like extended use of hours and hours of yeah. watching video at home. But you'd find but some buffering or stuttering? Or? It would it would freeze up for a split second and yeah. go. I don't know if it was buffering or right. if it was like the processor was having a hard time keeping up with things. This is probably really confusing for people to Yeah, watch wait a minute. Aren't I watching a Twitch show? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I noticed it regularly, actually. Yeah. And enough where it was, um, it was obvious that it was happening. And I don't feel like I see that with other devices in this kind of vein. is there a twit app on there uh no there's no twit app okay on, on okay the, so uh android tv this is a limited app store limited app store yes yeah. uh people are going to have to update their stuff the ui i think makes sense uh nice graphical touch no amazon instant. voice search is awesome uh no mm. nope that's not on there so you're missing out on that um but i think you know for a video player uh, to not play back video as obvious you right. know as as fluently as possible that's, that's like at the top of the list right and that was kind of a, a bummer also another thing before i get to the pros and cons it has uh ca google cast support so it does have this is in fact a google cast dongle in effect uh more or less but here's where it gets kind of tricky right so on netflix if i had just have my chromecast connected to a tv and i and i activate uh chromecast in my netflix app and send it to a tv it plays here there's a netflix app also on there so regularly i would load up my netflix on here connect to it via chromecast and send the video and instead of just launching into the video, it would launch the Netflix app yeah. and then ask me to log in. So then I had to find uh, the remote and log in. And then I could, already logged in? Yes. No, that's not good. And so there's a little bit of confusion there. Again, yeah. don't know if it sits on the, on the uh, developer side or if it's on the underpinnings of Android TV, but things to figure out. So this is the first Android TV implementation yes. from Google? Yes, the first consumer version of Android okay. TV. How is Android TV different than Google TV? Well, that's probably a long and... Detail and you know post. what? I'm probably not the right person to ask <laughs> that because I never had a Google TV personally. Yeah. Ron Richards oh, would be the per perfect it's, person. It's very different from the interface point of view and yeah. much, much, much superior to Google TV. Google TV had a browser in it. Right. It was much more elaborate. This And this has and more apps it. available. I think this is a good choice. And that's probably it. I think that what they're doing with Android TV is they're pairing it back and saying these are the limited amount of things right. that you can do in the living room instead of, you know, go hog wild. Pros and cons. Uh, pros, I would say Android TV just as a platform has promise. I'm looking forward to you know what is to come uh gaming is a lot of fun on here I'd, I'd say it was one of my highlights with the uh with the nexus player voice search definitely has potential it's it's, it's obviously powerful mm -hmm. uh but it has a way to go ways to go to right. become even more powerful which is what you expect as a user uh the cons choppy video playback which i think is kind of a, a killer uh, to a device like this. Critically low storage with no expandability. Uh, I mean, you're going to run into that limit pretty fast if you get this device. Wi-Fi only feels kind of locked down and unnecessary. Uh, I, I feel like I, it's a living room device. I should be able to plug it in through Ethernet and not have to worry about the, the downsides of Wi-Fi. And app compatibility, both from a search perspective and from a selection perspective, just isn't quite there. So I would probably have to say don't buy the Nexus Player. Um, unless unless you're an Android fan, an enthusiast, and you want to get get in on Android TV from the beginning and kind of see where it evolves, and who knows, maybe updates are going to help this, but there are critical things to the hardware that kind of hold it back right now. And I think there's going to be third-party solutions soon enough that are going to be compelling in their own right. Also running Android TV. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Just with more storage, higher CPU and all that. Yeah.